what's up y'all so i am currently 41 weeks today and we are about to head to the hospital so i can be induced with baby avery the last baby bump you guys so i'm gonna try to film some of this stuff y'all it just be hard when stuff be going so fast and stuff so i'm trying to film for y'all but yeah we on the way to the hospital so yeah, I'm kind of nervous, but we'll be all right. I'm praying for a safe delivery. Today. All right, y'all, so it's currently 8.26 and I got my IV in and I'm gonna get eat good and in here waiting to have my water broke. I'm at a one, a one. Avery just do not want to come, but I'm at a one, dilated, a one. A one. So, oh, my mama and Trey, they want to go get something to eat. But we're just sitting here waiting. It's just the waiting game, y'all. So, yep. Yeah. Gonna eat me some grits, some eggs, and a sausage. But I probably ain't gonna eat that much though, y'all, because I don't wanna have a full stomach trying to push a baby out. So, yep, yeah, gonna eat these little grits. Take like, I was like, yeah, I need to add number from bottle. It's like, what's this? Yup. I'm about to get ED, ED grease. That's what's up. Yeah, they bad. Eat it over there. Then I got me some food. What's she talking about? Yeah. Oh, you're trying to like contract it, like your legs, like exercise your legs or something? Mm -hmm. Hey. Um. <laughs> well, no, yeah, I killed my grief. They're trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, so they end up checking me like two more times after that. Um, after I had said I was dilated to a one, um, because my cervix cervix was so long, they had to check me twice, and I was end up being a four. So after they checked me, I was kind of like irritated. They did break my water. Um, after that, um, it was about. I don't know what time it was when when they broke my water but they was like okay we got to get this baby out um so they put me on the peanut ball if y'all know what the peanut ball is i was on the peanut ball for a minute and then i got kind of irritated and i was like um i don't want this peanut ball no more i was like i want to stand up i don't know why they don't let you stand up because the contractions are so much better Standing up, then laying down in the bed, like, let me stand up. <laughs> but, yeah, so I had to lay in the bed because they had um, brought my water and they didn't want the baby to fall. So, um, after that, um, they checked me again. I was dilated to, like, a six. And um, contractions started getting more intense. And they was like, do you want the um, Pitocin? I think I'm saying it right. Pitocin or something like that. Um, so I got a little bit of that. So my contractions started getting more intense. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I can't do this anymore. Um, so I ended up getting so irritated i was like i just want the epidural 
it was the last minute, so they was like, girl, you can't get the epidural. You, <laughs> it's almost time to push. So, um, y'all, I made it through, baby, without no epidural. And, um, let's see. Oh, so I had, um, oh, dang, what is it called? The bar. I, um, squatted on the bar for, I want to say, like, I want to say about 20 minutes I was on the um, bar and it made it so much better like the bar is the best when trying to push and trying to oof, go through the contractions and all that kind of stuff so yeah I was on the bar and um, long story short after like 20 minutes they was like, um, make sure y'all check in to make sure the baby's not coming. So, they end up seeing the head that all the doctors rushed in. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm just so thankful and blessed to have had a safe delivery. Shouts out to my mama and my boyfriend because, oh Jesus, like, I was squeezing my boyfriend, um, <laughs> hands so hard, like, through them contractions because baby I didn't think I could do it it was but it was all worth it because baby Avery is here and he's healthy and I just want to say to all the mamas that's considering to not do any epidural going to a space to where you just zone everybody out and just breathe Cause that was my hardest thing was breathing. Like I did not want to breathe through the contractions, but like, like going to a place where you saw everybody out. When we used to do affirmations, I was doing affirmations in my head. Like I got this. I'm a great mom. I can deliver this baby. Like I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I hate I really couldn't record everything for y'all but I'm learning how to just come out of my comfort zone y'all because I'm so shy y'all I don't know if y'all can tell but I'm very shy and I just have to open up more to y'all and talk a little bit more because I don't really talk like that but that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, so 2024, I'm going to be trying to come out of my comfort zone and stop being so shy. Because I feel like I've missed so many opportunities and just not being able to, or just posting and stuff like that. Because I'm so shy, y'all. I don't like talking. For real, for real. But, um. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, y'all just comment below and let me know what y'all want to see me doing what me and Andrew doing uh, on his channel because I really don't be knowing what to post sometimes but yeah y'all just comment below and let me know and look good with my twin we be bad but yeah y'all get it hope y'all enjoyed this video this is Bye.